Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to another episode of How to Play an Electric Guitar Solo Without Even Thinking About Scales. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Now in the first episode of this series, we learned some specific things about getting around on the guitar, but we were using a jazz backing track. This time, we're going to use a backing track that you heard in the intro of this video. That backing track is the four chord jam in A minor produced by my YouTube pal, Kenneth Russell. You can visit Kenneth's website and YouTube channel by using the links in the description below this video. You can also go there and play along with this backing track once you learn this technique. Now the first thing we learned in episode one of this series is that you can go to the fifth fret and pull notes out of it that will work in a solo that is in A minor. We can play any note on that fret and it'll work in our solo. Let me give you a demonstration of that. we did was strike notes at the 5th fret like that. We're going to go to 2 frets by going to the 4th fret and using them as leading tones to get us to the 5th fret. Okay? Like that. And we can also use double stops sliding in like this. Or we can just like that. Let's try that with our mix. So that was fret 4 and fret 5, just working up and down those frets. Next, we're going to go to fret 5 and fret 7. For frets 5 and 7, we'll go to the 5th fret, 7th fret on the low E string, A string 5, 7, D string 5, 7, G string 5, 7, and then we'll stop here at the B string on fret five. Now we can work these other notes in there too, but we have to be a little bit more careful because they're not in the key, okay? With fret five and seven, we'll play and stop at the B string. Now if we want to work these notes, we can do that. We can hammer on them and they'll work, but we can't sustain those notes. They sound a little strange, all right? So we're going to go we can get away with that. So let's try that with our track. Frets 5 and 7.
5 and 7. Now we'll add one more flavor note here up at fret 10 is an A. We're going to add that for flavor. Like that. That's another A. Same A as that one. Okay? And we're going to use fret 4, fret 5, fret 7, and combine them to see what we come up with. Let's try that with our track. Fret 4, 5, 7, 10. As you can see, there was quite a bit we could do without ever even talking about scales. Now of course, we wound up playing some scales. That's not the point. We're not trying to get out of playing them, we're just not talking about them. We're playing notes that we know are going to work in a solo. Now it would have been easy for me to play the pentatonic scale, which most people know, which sounds like this. <laughs> And I can combine that with this technique, but the pentatonic scale has a well-known sound. You can hear that sound. If you'd like to play something that sounds a little different than the pentatonic scale, use this technique and then go back and forth between the pentatonic scale and this technique. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. First, we'll start with the pentatonic scale. Now, the no scales method. I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me. And don't forget, use the link in the description below to go to Kenneth Russell's YouTube channel to check out his backing tracks and also to play along with the four chord jam in A minor. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.